original recipe or extra crispy. Batman vs. Superman, Ultimate Edition, theatrical version. Next on the Final Call Movie Review Show. What's up, y'all? I'm Mason, and this is J Dub. And we are the Final Call Movie Review Show. And today, we're going to be reviewing Batman vs. Superman, the Ultimate Edition. As well as the theatrical, because we've seen them both. So here's the thing. I really like the Ultimate Edition. I didn't dislike the theatrical edition, but good lord. The Ultimate Edition, you get it all. You get the depth that you were lacking in the theatrical edition. You go, why did that happen? I don't know. Did that guy know anything? I don't know. What the hell's happening? I kind of know. The Ultimate Edition, I feel, I feel like I know things. I feel like I'm certain of what has occurred. I don't want to get into it too much. I mean, there's Wonder Woman, there's Batman, there's Superman. This is amazing stuff, right? I mean, I didn't even mention who directed it or anything else. It's just jump right into it. <laughs> or even who Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman even are. Does, does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But here's the thing. It does matter. Zack Snyder... They always fuck with this man in his movies. Did you see The Watchmen? Guess what? I really liked the real big full version he did. It was almost exactly like the comic. It was awesome. This guy makes movies that are so much like comics, comic book people hate them. I don't get it. I guess I'm not that much of a comic book guy. I kind of am. I've got some comics. I have read them. I don't feel like a lifelong experienced aficionado by any means. I don't have a Spider-Man costume. You know, I like Star Trek. I don't have Spock ears or a communicator badge. <laughs> but I know a little something about all this stuff. And I tell you what, this fucking movie, this Ultimate Edition, this is something worth seeing, goddammit. Y'all need to check it out. If you hated the theatrical version, see the Ultimate. Give it a whirl. I'm telling you, it's fucking awesome. You know what's at Redbox, so you ain't gotta pay what, but two bucks? Two dollars? Like you ain't got two dollars. That's per night. Just watch it. It's three hours. It's a half an hour longer than the original version, but it doesn't feel like three hours. I like long movies that don't, that at the end of it, it's like, damn, that was on a minute. That didn't even feel like it. Yeah. This works. Since we're referencing chicken at the very beginning... I happen to like both original and extra crispy, and I feel the very same way about the theatrical and the ultimate editions of Batman vs. Superman. That was kind of the point of the reference. Ah. I thought that it would go well that way. I'm like, I like extra crispy and original recipe. Mm -hmm. Hell, I like Popeyes too, man. <laughs> Which one you want to go with it? For real. Theatrical, ultimate. Right? Popeyes, KFC. Right. What you want? Some red beans and rice with that, or you just want some? You just want some? Uh, Potato wedges. What you want? What you want? Even better way to put it, since we are talking chicken. The theatrical version? White meat. Ultimate edition? Dark meat. <laughs> it's kind of like bone in. A lot of people like their fried chicken with the bone in it. Mm -hmm. More substance. Like, yeah, that's right. You know. More substance. Going into this movie... It already had bad press going in because a lot of people were already hating on it Haters. with the fact that Ben Affleck was playing Batman. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't hating on the fact that he was going to play Batman. I had my doubts, but it's Batman. You got to give it a chance if you call yourself a true superhero comic book fan. And he absolutely nails it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely nails it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry Cavill is superb as Superman. If anybody's seen Man of Steel, they were both better than... It's kind of hard for me to say, but I did like Man of Steel better than Superman Returns. It was a well-done uh, reboot, reboot. Hence, how we got here to Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, yeah. And Gal Gadot, who they have found to play... Gadot, the... it's not Gadot. Is it Gadot? I Godot? don't know. I, I want to say Gadot. It's... Gal, how you doing? Mm -hmm. What's up? Miss Gado? Hey! What's up? Uh -huh. What's up? Uh, shut up. <laughs> Perfect. This, the search for Wonder Woman has gone on for at least 20 years in the movie world. 
who's going to play her. At one point, it was like, let's get Mila Jovovich. Let's get... It's been going back so long, like, Sharon Stone <laughs> was in the talks. It's a nail that you don't want to get wrong, because it is a role that, if not done right on the big screen, it could flop, and she delivers, knocks it out the park, and lest we forget... She's good. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I liked him. Loved him. People hate on Jesse Eisenberg as Luthor. And I go, what the fuck? Like, you don't like him? And they go, no, I don't like him. And I'm like, it's Lex Luthor. You're not supposed to fucking like him. Why would you like him? Like, I don't get it. Like, I liked the way, say, Kevin Spacey played it, if we're going to go back to other ones, like the Superman Returns or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Kevin Spacey... That was good, but he was like out of the mental institute. He's got he's got no hair. Like you get this totally different Lex Luthor in this fucking movie. He's like Lex Luthor that oh that guy might be a little bit unstable. I don't know. Hasn't been proven just yet. It's fucking awesome. Eisenberg makes you love to hate Lex Luthor, and that's what he's supposed to do. Right, Gene Hackman. Did the same thing. You see him coming unhinged and everything. It's yes. it's really very cool. He's it's, just like I'm I'm crazy. Like, and it happens. It's organic in the way that it develops. This is a good movie. If you don't like this movie, I ain't gonna say it. I can't say it. I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you. Like, sorry. Go watch. Uh, I, I don't know. Go read a comic if you really have that big of a fucking problem with this movie. It's a comic book movie. Like, people would be like, oh, how did Batman get from one side of the world to the other side of the world in that one Batman movie? Like, I don't give a fuck. He's fucking <laughs> Batman. Batman. <laughs> He's rich. Who gives a fuck? He's Bruce fucking Wayne. He gets shit done. If I had Bruce Wayne money, I would be all over the fucking place. Fuck that shit. Even had Wonder Woman driving some hot shit. For real. Wonder Woman got some money, but, what? you know. What? And Superman, just Clark Kent. He just shows up and he disappears. I'm going to leave my clothes here and go do some rescuing shit down on the other side of the world. That's cool. Nobody questions how Superman gets from, like, Gotham City to, you know, Argentina or whatever in the fuck it is in, like, 13 Superman. seconds. Or why they would have Argentinian live news on in the fucking, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the Lex Luthor mansion, in the fucking kitchen. The fuck, man? There ain't no fucking TVs on during an event like that in the goddamn kitchen. It's bullshit. But I digress. <laughs> <laughs> so, on a scale from 1 to 100, what would you give Batman vs. Superman the theatrical Ooh. and the ultimate? We're or, or do we want to just do one? The ultimate. Well, if we're going to do it that way, before we get to the ratings part, it's a note. This movie was awesome on the big screen and on Blu-ray. Um, the the Ultimate of... Edition is not in 3D if you're buying the 3D version. Mm. Heads up. Good point. Very good point. I don't appreciate that, Warner Brothers or DC or whoever the fuck's idea that was. The emotion driven <clears throat> in the movie is more. In the Ultimate Edition, than in the of course it's everything. Everything about the Ultimate Edition is going to be more. So we're going. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but the movie itself, as a whole, both editions, the emotion is all there. The heart is there. You're feeling for the characters on screen. The theatrical version, it was missing a lot of stuff. Which, if you weren't hating on the movie before you went into it, a lot of people walked away from it because there was, there were some holy gaps. Yes. Not holy as in, uh, but holy as in, gap it. Nap it. So, Gabby right? like Michael Strahan's teeth. Mm-hmm. Man, take that giant money in. For real. Yet we digress. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10. 100. On a scale of 1, gotta keep it 100. We talk about Superman, damn it. On a scale of 1 to 100. <laughs> Theatrical? 70? Ultimate? Mm, big jump. 80. Completely agree. 70, 80. Man. Theatrical 70, <laughs> ultimate 80. Absolutely. Uh, and see it wherever you can. Watch it. It is now on Blu-ray. Get it in the highest quality possible. 
it's not. Ne- I don't think it's a film that's necessary for the. 3D. I mean, if you're a big 3D buff. The Ultimate's not in 3D, so if you want to see it in 3D, you're going to watch the theatrical version, which is just going to make you want to watch the Ultimate version, which is just going to annoy you that it's not in 3D <laughs> when you buy it like that, because that's what happened to me. Trust me, the 3D TV, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Ultimate Edition in 3D. Go little fuck yourself. The little yodely guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right he went right cliff. over the edge of that motherfucker. All your Plinko chips went to the zeros, motherfuckers. But the movie's good. Don't get me wrong. I still watched it, you motherfuckers. But anyway. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Yeah, check it out. If it's at Redbox, I'm so... If the ultimate's at Redbox, absolutely. That's a good $2. That's a great $2 spent for a rental. I'm I put my dub stamp of personal approval so much on this movie that if you like it at the red box you will buy a copy for yourself. Wow. But anyway, this is the final call movie review show. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like, please subscribe, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and anywhere else that we end up linking down below. Check out the stuff that's down there in the description and check out our other videos thank you good night